thank you for coming. It's a, it's a great pleasure, but it's, it's a disturbing pleasure as well. For those who don't know me, my name is Brian Babin, and uh, I represent the 36th District of Texas. Uh, and I would like to just uh, say a few words here, if you don't mind. We're here today because this current administration of Joe Biden would rather focus on warped gender ideologies and radical inclusion policies than to act to safeguard our national security and our sovereignty. The very sovereignty that's being threatened daily by a border crisis that seems to be worsening, not by the day, but by the minute. Since Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas put out the welcome mat at our <coughs> southern border, we have been besieged by millions of unvetted immigrants, including criminals, suspected terrorists, and more, itching to gain entry into the United States. And shamefully, this president and his cronies have gone out of their way to oblige them. The state of Texas is using every resource available to ensure that our southern border doesn't become a relic, an antique of the past. In a persevering spirit reminiscent of that displayed by those at the Alamo in our great state of Texas, the Lone Star State has stood its ground against an invasion and an administration that clearly wants the opposing forces to win. If we cannot defend our borders, America has no future. And so I thank God for Texas, which unquestionably has the constitutional right to protect itself. And I'm very, very proud to be a Texan. And if this becomes the hill to die on, I can tell you that I will gladly join my state and my colleagues back here, those from Texas, and our colleagues that don't have to be from Texas that know that this is a disaster in the making for the United States of America. With that, I will yield to who's next? Michael Cloud. 